Welcome back. Incumbent Kristen Gaspar is running a re-election campaign for County Supervisor District 3 seat. Her opponent is Democrat Tara Lawson Reamer. Gaspar joins us now to give an update on how her campaign is going. Good morning to you, Supervisor Gaspar. Good to see you. Good morning, Lauren. Okay, so we're getting down to the wire. This is a, a race that's really seemed to to steam up, get get pretty contested over the last several weeks. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. It's always a silly season, but toward the end of the campaign, you see that happening a lot more. People are finally waking up and understanding who I'm running against in this race. Number one, the labor unions who have plunked down big dollars to make sure that the County Board of Supervisors is in their control. The other piece that's quite interesting are some of the Hollywood elite that really haven't campaigned in San Diego before. They've been out strongly advocating for my opponent in this race, most notably Jane Fonda. I don't know if you caught this, but over the weekend she had an interesting quote that uh, COVID-19 was God's gift to the left. You know, really boasting about how important this has been because now it's going to be the left's opportunity to take over control and lots of seats. And then, of course, uh, William Ayers, who has been a top supporter of, of my opponent, most uh, known for founding the Weather Underground for domestic bombings of the Pentagon and police stations. The list goes on of curious supporters for my opponents. Our community is starting to see that the one thing she always leaves off her resume is that she's a professional protester, a professional activist, and wants to run as a moderate. So hopeful the voters are taking a close look. San Diego cannot be in the hands of radical opponents at this point. Well, I was uh, fortunate to moderate a, a forum with the two of you ladies that aired over the weekend. And one of the biggest differences uh, with you, I think, came towards the end in is your approach to spending money uh, as as a whole for the County Board of Supervisors, um, because it's it's been accused that the board tends to stockpile the money instead of save the money <laughs> accusations that are that are out there do you care to respond for people who didn't get a chance to see uh, really this idea because the county does have a large budget and they they spend it a certain way but historically it, it's been a positive balanced budget can you explain um your position on spending I'd love to. I've been in the chair for four years. The county building, it's a large building. I have scoured every last corner for the billions of dollars that they claim are stockpiled. The reality is we do not have billions of dollars stockpiled at the county of San Diego. In fact, we have about two months of operational reserves. And for the very first time, we've had to dip into those two months of operational reserves. And that's a pretty scary place for any business, any government uh, to be in because that is the gold standard that protects your citizenry against something catastrophic. We're in the middle of an economic crisis. I would say this is that catastrophic moment that we had been saving for. And the county of San Diego has not been resilient to this pandemic. And we're going to have to closely watch and monitor our finances. This will become increasingly important because our role at the county is to provide services to people. At this point in time, people are suffering. A million people we're going to have to provide for in our safety net program. That's an all-time high. 900,000 food insecure San Diegans, an all-time high. We've doubled unemployment in this pandemic from where we were in all of the years of the Great Recession. This is a time that you need an experienced leader in the chair. My opponent lives in what I call Tara's theoretical land, where everything can be afforded in this beautiful land that she lives in has money trees. The reality is those things don't exist. I'm the CFO of a business. I think that it was very clear after that debate that she's read about how to be a CFO but hasn't been in the chair. And uh, quickly in the time we have left, I know you were at the youth sports rally uh, rallying on Saturday. Can you explain where your position is on this idea of getting our young people back in organized sports? Well, walking up to that rally, I, I had goosebumps. Part of me was really sad. Part of me was really happy to see all of the kids out there. The message that was common with the entire crowd was let us play. Blow the whistle, Governor Newsom, let us play. We're one of only three states that don't have youth sports at this time. It's not right. 
We need to look at the impacts to our children. They've been overlooked throughout this pandemic. A lot of disconnect now with their passion, their purpose. My goal is to make sure that they're reconnected with passion and purpose so that they become strong adults. This rally really was the kickoff of an all hands on deck effort where we will be pushing strongly over the next couple of weeks to let our kids play. Supervisor Gaspar, as always, thank you for the time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you, Lauren. Uh-huh. Okay, and as a reminder, Kristen Gaspar is the incumbent in the county supervisor race for District 3. She is running against Democrat candidate Tara Lawson-Reamer.